Hello YouTube and welcome to our 80th Unity 81st Unity 3D tutorial, I apologise. Um, in this tutorial what we're gonna do is add some sounds like I said last time, so we're gonna have we've got a heap of sounds to look through. Um, so we're just gonna drop them off as we go along. So the sounds we have, we have first, um, so when we click on each character, so we click one it'll say something, you click the female it says something. So the male one is just simply me with a buffed up voice saying and if you didn't hear that so yeah, and the female one, I partnered up with a YouTube person who was the only one who responded to my emails because nobody else decided to. Um, but we partnered up, her name was Beth Ann Poppy, that's her channel name in the description. Thank you very much for doing this, and this is what we got. I am at your command, so that's for the female one. And these are really, really easy to assign, so what we're going to do is go to our main camera and click our agenda select. Boot this up. We we'll create a new variable for male voice, and this will be a audio clip. Long time since we've done audio, and we'll do female voice too. So, um, in the male one, if we click the male, then we're going to type audio dot play one shot. So we only play it once. The male voice, else play the female voice. So we've covered audio before. If you're new to audio, you probably haven't watched any of my tutorials. But um, audio is really, really simple to add. But so we've added the variables and we make them play. But if we were to actually click play, we well first without assigning them, it won't work. So let's assign them: female voice and male voice. So carry the scripts. Male voice will be there. Female voice will be there. But I want it to play on each individual character. So instead of assigning it to the camera, what we'll do is assign it to each gender. Because then that way, um, the correct voices will play on the correct person. And it'll sound cool. So on these two, I'm going to select them both. Go to Component, Audio, and Audio Source. And we'll get an audio source. We'll not play it on a week. We want it to be 3D sound so we can like detect where it is in 3D space. So we'll tick it back on, click apply, tick it on, click apply. That's it, let's try it. So now let's try it. It should work. It might throw us an error, but. Well, I've got headphones on, and you can hear it switch between headphones as they say it because they're at different places. But we need to bump up the loudness of it, cause it's, well, the volume, because it's not very loud. So, 3D settings, um, drop player, let's try that as a 2, and the max distance is a 1500. Bearing in mind, I'm not very good with sound engineering, so let's try again. Well, that's sent to not do a darn thing. Um, let's try the er, custom roll off. Let's try what that sounds like. I am at your command, sire. Squash them like ants. Well, that seems to work much better. So let's drag it down a bit on the volume because it is a bit deafening. So to about there. Let's try again. So what we need to do before that then is because we've got that to work by simply messing with that is all we need to do is like actually stop any audio what's playing at the moment. So audio dot audio dot stop. Yep. Because I could, as you saw at the end, I quickly switched between them and it messed up the audio, which wasn't the best. So let's see if this works. Well, that didn't work, but it saves us so we can't, like, press on it multiple times. It'll just restart if we do that. It won't carry on. So, we could also try game object dot find gender female dot audio dot stop. Seems to like it. Let's see if it works. So that works perfect. So we can just select this and stick it in audio.stop, but change it to male. 
So when we click the female, it stops the males, and when we click the female, it stops them. When we click the males, it stops females. That's it. Yeah. So that seems to work fine, but we've got a button here, so every time we click the button, it needs to enable our sound. Um, this will relatively be the same sound for pretty much all of it, but um, the sound I found, is if I can find it, is clicks. So I thought, for switching between next stages, we need this one. So we click next, and then for switching between previous and next armors, we need... so. Until we find it, it sounds a bit like dominoes kind of thing. So like when you knock a domino over, and then when we click next. I don't know why, I just found them useful. And I found these on a tutorial called soundj.com. In the description it says they are free. It's free of charge and royalty free products, but you're not allowed to post sounds on any website. Um, I'm linking you to this actual website, so I'm not into breach of them. Um, the sounds I have are sounds 20 and 16, as you can see there. Um, the sound nav at the bottom are I went to a different website and they just every time you want to download it make you download like a file and it's like not good. So yeah, so I may so there that's in the description. So let's add them. Really, really simple to do. So we'll do our gender first and we'll add a new audio clip and call it um clicked. Um stage clicked. So stage clicked is when we click on another stage and the other one will be pre-select. Yeah, that makes sense. So we need them two. We'll get rid of the middle one. And then here, when it goes next, we'll play this. Put this there. Scroll back up. Stage clicked. And play stage clicked. So whenever we click next, it'll play the stage clicked. So let's find our stage clicked button there. And add it to here and let's test it again there is no audio source so we need to attach an audio source to our character her camera so if we go or component audio audio source don't play on awake and we don't want this one to be 3d because it's actually t attached to the camera so we can disable these two 3d and the camera, yep, audio source should play fine. Perfect. So now we've got a little bit, there is no audio source. We literally just put it there. Let's see if that's an error what's just stuck there. Try again. There we go. Can we bring our constant? No, we can't. I was going to make it tick clear on play but obviously didn't want to. So our next one is our weight one. So size select. This is the one where we have to start messing with the other one. So what we can do first is just copy the stage audio clip and attach it twice. Um, selection. Go back to our gender select. <coughs> right at the top. So here we've got larger so we can just put selection clicked in there, smaller, larger, smaller, and next. So just simply assigning them in the correct order and then just making sure the audio stops there. Sorry about that, that's my dog going crazy again. Crazy dog. Um, so when that loads, our size select, there we go. This is the two audios, next stage and switching. Let's test it. Since we've already got an audio clip we don't need to worry about it. I actually really like them. Them sounds are really cool. I really I do like them ones. So our next one is armor select. This is going to be the big one. Luckily we only need to put two audios in. We don't need 79 because that was the code I've used so I can remember which ones. So stick these audio clips on, we'll just stick them here, audio clips, and of course I selected the wrong ones because I'm a doofus, so back up the top, select these, and paste these correct ones in, there we go, and now we need to find the ones we just pasted which are here, 
So all the selection clicked, let's assign them to that's the wrong ones. Armor oh, set, there we go. So that's clicking next. 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 Um I did say these were a lot there are really no easier ways to do this, but it's small code, it's just a copy and paste. I'm just pressing control V to paste. And I may have missed loads. Yes, I missed the previous buttons. No, wait, I got them. Yep. And in here, in the next one, we're simply just going to put our stage clicked. I believe it's stage clicked. Yes. So now we'll try that. But before we do, we'll just do the start select while we're here. It makes sense to not have to keep trying it after everyone. So we have switching. And next stage. And now finally our stat select. Again, we'll just copy the selection clicked. Increase. Decrease. Increase. Decrease. Next. This will be stage. Scroll up. Click our slot size and copy our variables. Paste it back in. There, so all we have to do now is assign that, and then that that's this one done. So when that decides to load, there we go. So next, switching stage, next stage. Let's test it, so every single button now should make a sound. That works. That works. That seems to be crashing. That glitched for some reason. I don't know why. Let's have a look at our armor select one. So it was the cape when we started adding the cape. Audio.play. 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 It should play. Hmm. It might have just been a glitch in Unity. But let's untick maximize and look at our camera so we can see what audio is being attached at the time. So we'll just close this 3D settings because we don't need that. Hmm. We have assigned it. Oh, there we go, we get an error. Oh, good. 194. Which is the wrong error, which we don't need. Oh, well. Well, I can't... I don't know why that's doing that. I that sh It works on everything else. Maybe it's, Unity just needs a restart, probably. So, the next final one I'm going to do is a, some background music. I found this very good website called Incomtech. Or you can just Google Kevin McLeod, I think his name is. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. He does lots of royalty free music, really, really good. Um, so I found the good one, and I found this one for the background music of the character creation. So it's like suspenseful kind of thing. Well, well I did search for suspenseful. But yeah, so I've downloaded that. It's free to download. That's in the description as well. And I'm linking you to the actual website again. So I found this and put this in my sounds folder as background music. There we go. We don't need it as 3D sound, so we'll untick that. And of course, because this is audio, it's going to try and add it in. I might as well get straight to the script in which we can't do. In fact, if we go to the gender select one, which is a game we can't do, we'll add it straight to our gender one. So as soon as the gender one awakes, full start, or start in this case, it'll play it. So in here we'll type um, background music. And in here we'll type game object dot find back uh, mm, misc sounds 
dot audio dot play one shot background music so the reason I'm going misc sounds is because if we were to make it play on the main camera every time we click something the sound would go off which is not what we need so instead we're going to add an empty game object named misc sounds into our camera and just stick an audio source on it it makes a lot more sense so we've got that don't play on a week and for our main camera we want it to play on our agenda select there our background music there so now if we were to play that I have a feeling why that I think it's not working but I'm not 100% sure let's add these click sounds to the main camera I'm not sure that's why it's not working but we're gonna add it to gender select anyway er uh, well, it's already there, so that's probably not it then. So let's try it. Hmm. It could be a little quieter, just so it's not right in your face kind of thing. So try 0 0.7. Let's try again. I'll set it to 0.25. That seems reasonably loud enough. So it plays, it's in the background. But you can still hear everything. Oh, that's, that's an error stopping us now. 226, let's go and have a look what's happening. There. So now it doesn't want to do anything like that. Wow, why? May as well have a look at that. I am at your command, sire. Well, for some reason, all our things have gone. It deletes the backspawn way too quickly. So, this here. Oh, uh, that's because we're not spawning everything, so that's a glitch. We've found a glitch now. If we don't spawn anything, so if we spawn these, it works. But if you don't spawn anything, then you can't have it. So that's a big glitch, but we can fix that next time. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sounds are in the description. Thanks to Beth and Poppy, Kevin McLeod, and the guy who made the other sounds, because I can't remember your name. And see you next time.